The intersection of identity politics and law enforcement has become a battleground of ideas. But what happens when these people break the law and then attack the police? Get on the ground. Don't touch me, okay? Get on the ground. On 27th November 2020, officers responded to a report of a domestic dispute and found Jenny and other people standing outside a residence in town in country Florida. Can you, can you assist them? What's up, man? There you go. Right? Yeah. What's Why the is their family calling? What, what's the problem? I guess they call. Well, who called? I don't know. Name the name, the, uh, name I had to tell you who you called. Who called? Who called? Can you get more? Oh, you called? You call! You call, little girl! Sam, on? What's up? Mistake, excuse me, sir. Hold up, you can't go because it don't say walk on where say nothing. Hold up, What's wait a up? minute. Wait out here, okay? Thank you. Okay, so. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you. Who so, called? Nobody called. Do me a favor, have a seat over Why? there. Why? Hey, this my house, six though. Feet, okay, okay six go feet. go to your house. You 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 car away. This is six feet to mine. Six feet, please. Okay, okay. so go ahead. You my property. You're obviously very. You my property. No, no, no. Hold day. up, hold up. You my property. I can do whatever I want. My property. You're so awesome. Thank you for your service. There you go. Go ahead. There. Get enough, you guys. Get on the ground. Don't touch me, okay? Get on the ground. If you don't come on, right? Touch my car. Touch my car like that. Hotel 30, have the units respond and come 1018. Stay on the ground. No. Nope. Stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. Don't resist. Oh, I'm not resisting. Oh. Oh, oh, I'm not resisting. Taser, taser, taser. I'm not. I'm going to put up that guy. Stay on your back. I'm going to put up that the officer tased Jenny, and they fell to the ground yelling that they're epileptic. One of the officers even made a derogatory remark. Keep whatever it is down. The female was charged with battery and resisting an officer with violence. She was sentenced to 30 days in jail after receiving credit for time served. Almost exactly one year after that arrest, De Leon was fatally stabbed and the suspect was arrested later. Sometimes the officers have their own prejudices that result in violent apprehension. Officers responded to a 911 call reporting a shoplifting incident. Right there. Hands up, 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 no, it's not. Please, please get your hands off me. Stop, stop, stop. I haven't done anything wrong. I haven't done anything wrong. I'm not resisting. Please, stop. You're hurting me. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. Move your arm. What is the problem? I don't understand. Please. Please tell me what I'm being accused of. Why are you freaking out about because this? Because you're you hurting hiding? me! What are you no, please hiding? let me go! Please! I didn't do anything wrong! I didn't break any laws! Let's stretch him out. Yep. 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 Please stop! Ow! 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 You're hurting me! God, I didn't do anything wrong! Please! Please, I didn't hurt anybody! I didn't do anything wrong! I didn't do anything wrong, please. No, hey, stop! This is, hey, no, this is stop. illegal, no way! The officers promptly arrested the suspect who continued claiming that they were innocent. What am I under arrest for? What are my charges? No, what are my charges? Please, I didn't do anything! I didn't hurt anybody! I didn't Take anything. Please. I haven't done anything wrong. Why are you taking my thing? You 
are under arrest for shoplifting. I didn't shoplift anything. Look, that's all my stuff. Okay, just take a None of that's from the store, okay? I asked him to keep an eye on the things I wanted to get. Okay. I didn't shoplift stop. anything, please. Stop yelling. We'll, we'll talk, but just, I need you to, please, I need you please, to stop please. yelling. Can I please get out of these cuffs? Can I please? No, you're staying in cuffs. Please, can I have a cigarette? Yes. Come on. That no. potentially, you, you gotta, you gotta stop, stop yelling. You gotta stop yelling. I asked them to keep an eye on the things from the store so that I could come back with them because I pissed off my girlfriend. Can you stand up on your own? And she ran out. Can you stand up? Okay. Okay. More you cooperate, more we'll Where are we going? That car because mine already. No, 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 no. You're going in a car, please. No, 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 please, please. I didn't steal anything. I didn't steal anything. Nothing in that car is the store. It's all mine, please. Other side, other side, other side. Can we talk outside at least, please? No, not the way. Please. You're being rude. Please stop. I would like to speak to a lawyer. I would like to speak to my attorney, Don't please. Get, your, right is, your right has been noted. Do you want to roll the window down? I'll just read your rights book. So now you're also under arrest for possession of a stolen firearm. Possession of a what? Stolen firearm. It's, it's a clear statement. The officers are then seen discussing the incident and having a laugh. Oh, no. <laughs> this doesn't play well, does it? Well, I still wonder if it's... Did you ran him yet? I don't know if you are heard, but it's all... I'm not. It's a female. Yeah, I felt that. <laughs> I was like, oh! Yeah. So you're going to pull him Lieutenant, <laughs> you just bought, just, <laughs> Lieutenant, you just bought yourself a blue team. Congratulations. Then they said in the back of my car that they were looking for the the person at the door because they were supposed to be watching their stuff and that they were going to try to pay for it, but they didn't. Is this so, the person that was in there for they two plus their hours? Right to, uh, okay. They asked for a lawyer, so I haven't asked them. Oh, well, well, I have everything else I can take the gun to and book it. And the holster's in that bag, too. It's going to the big bag. Okay. No ID in Thank you. Remember small bag? I didn't see one. Small bag? Needles. needles. The tiny one. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. I feel like that's not accurate, because you would be 37, actually. So, are you telling me a fake date of birth? Because I'm going to figure it out. If you provide me false information, that is also another charge. Providing false information to a law enforcement officer. I'm going to put your seatbelt on. Can I have my glasses off the ground, please? Look, oh, Matt, please. Please don't put me in a box. I didn't do anything wrong. There's no reason I need to be arrested. Dude, I didn't steal anything. I didn't walk out of that store. I'm reaching over you to grab to the seatbelt. Please. please sit back. Sir, please. I didn't do anything wrong. Honey! Stop yelling! Jocelyn! God. She's gonna think I ran off on her or something, man. This is so uncool. I didn't do anything wrong, please. This is unjust. I didn't walk out of that store with any of their property. Not one thing of theirs. Please, sir. The suspect was charged with resisting arrest, shoplifting, and possession of stolen property. Well, that was certainly a fast arrest, but what happens when the officers have to deal with a very difficult and aggressive suspect? On June 7, 2023, officers responded to a 911 call reporting that a man was allegedly being assaulted by his ex-wife. How are you doing, bud? Good, yourself? Not too bad. So what's happening? So, my baby mama, uh, her and her boyfriend, uh, I don't want to call him, just split up. Okay. And I Is asked, that Jaden or Amanda? Jaden or Amanda. I don't know if she legally changed her name yet, or if she still goes by Amanda. She's doing that transition thing. Oh, she's... She's a girl that's going to do a dude. Okay, so it, it was Amanda, but yeah. Jaden, okay. I texted her and I said, listen, I need my kids' stuff for school tomorrow, because their main physical address is there. Okay, where's there? Over right here on uh, Beverly Drive, 55 Beverly Drive. Okay. And I asked him for it, and he said no, and then he threatened to fight, come here and fight me, threatened to burn my house down with me and my kids in it. So I was like, all right, well, right there, that's... That's you guys. Yep. Um, and I would love to press charges completely because this ain't the first time this guy's done it. All right. So as far as charges go, I'm going to tell them if they continue the behavior, then there will be aggravated harassment charges. Okay. But as of right now, I don't really have much. But I will go over there and talk to them and see what their yeah, I don't know what to do either. see what their know. deal is. They're a girl guy. Um, because obviously it's unacceptable. Uh, and especially that you got your kids here. So you guys have had, but before, obviously before they tra transitioned, 
you guys were in a physical, you guys had a physical relationship? Who? You and Amanda? No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Oh, she's with my kid's mom. She's with my ex. My oh, ex. My wife. okay. We're still legally married, so my wife. They've been fighting since yesterday. I had my mom go pick them up. My ex knew that as soon as Amanda would get home, it'd get physical. And now all my, most of my kids' stuff is over there. And Amanda won't let my ex, which is Kayla, to go over there and get her stuff. And, or he won't leave because he don't have an income. He can't pay for the place. What's Amanda's last name? Wilder. The officers then reach the residence of the female to try and talk to her. That was a fire. Jaden, come on out. Jaden, come on out, man. It's your car. What's that? It's your car. It's your car? Comes back to Amanda. Jaden, I know you're in there. So listen up. Come to the door right now and explain your side of things. You will be charged with harassment and a criminal summons will be put out for you. So that means whenever you are found and met, you'll be brought to court. You understand that? There's charges. So it probably behooves you to come outside. Come outside and talk. All right, then harassment it is. Let's go. Well, that makes things easier. <laughs> it does look like a frog. The officers then went back to collect additional evidence from the man who had made the report. Yeah. Like, mom texted me that she's got a bunch of stuff too of her threatening to kill her and all beat her up and all sorts of shit. Okay. Yeah, she's borderline 941. Um, I have no idea what that is. Yeah, uh, mental health. Dude, she's worse than that, dude. Yeah. So, but for right now, let me get that stuff prepped, and then basically your statement's gonna say, I'll have you pre-read it, or pre proofread it, and make sure it makes sense. I believe it's at 423, or 223, that you said, that, that she sent the text message that... Yeah, I got, I got the That That uh, they said that they're gonna burn the house down after a brief verbal argument over the phone. That was a brief argument, I was just saying, okay, I just want to kiss this shit. Right. You're a dumb dumb. Disagreement really? then, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let me get that stuff worked out. At this point, the man received a startling text. Oh, now they're threatening you. Threatening me? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, you might want to add in text time. If they think they want to take me, they better do better than one guy because I'll fuck him up and continue to do what I need to to make sure you get exactly what you deserve to be gone. Now she's threatening death. What's that? Exactly what you deserve to be gone. Oh, okay. And it's... I have to address it like a defense attorney. Her if they think they want to take me better better than the one guy. So that's an if statement. The, yeah, there, and then it says, because I'll come up and continue to do what I need to do. Yeah, I'm I'm not too worried about it at this point. Like, I'm going to go back over there, and they decide to... What's that? What's that? She's a big girl. She was a female for most of her life. It's not like she's been transitioning for since her... Routines. Yeah, I'm gonna go talk to her or try to. If she continues her behavior, she just knows if, if she tries they're to. They're gonna ignore you or she will. That's come fine. At you. No worries on my end. Well, here's hoping that we get everything squared away. All, All right. right. Boss. Thank you, Keith. Thank you. Soon the officer again tries to confront the suspect at their residence. Listen. Off my property. Now he's gonna tell you again. I now. can be here pursuant no, to my job. No, you can't yes, be I here. Can. No, you can't. I'm here Goodbye. to tell you that you're formally Goodbye. trespassed. If you go. go over there, you're going to get another I charge. don't give a f Get off my property I can be now. Here pursuant to my job. Goodbye. What are you going to do about it? You want to know? Because I'll beat the living f right out of you, dude. <laughs> yeah, okay. You're going to come at me? Really? You're going to really? come at me right now? Get the f off my property. Get away from me now. What are you going to do? Back away. Get back in your house. I don't have to. This is wanna, my you yard. Wanna, you don't want to touch so, me. So, I'll walk you to the road. How about I'm that? I'm working on come it. Come on, pal. Walk you to the road. How about that? I'm working on it. All right. Well, don't come back. Because you if you do. You can't tell me what to do. Yeah, I can. No, you can't. Yeah, I can. No, you can't. It's my house. And I can kick you <laughs> off any fucking time I want unless you no, have a warrant. No, pursue it to my job. I'm allowed to be on your property. No, you can't. Get the fuck out of me. I'm on the property. Excuse me? Get the fuck away from me. Excuse I'm me? On the road. I don't give a fuck. Do you need to be it's free land. I can walk wherever I want, just like you can, right? Am I right or am I wrong? Get the fuck away from me. You get the fuck away from my house. I'm not on your. I'm not on your property. It's still my house. You're still right here. And goodbye. The suspect was being very aggressive with the officer, and soon all hell broke loose. There's something else. Yeah, you, know you are. Listen, if you go back over there, I ain't fucking been over there. Away from me. Get away right now. You ain't gonna fucking shove me. Get Take away. it off. 
No Take way. it off. Get away. No, you ain't gonna shove me like that. Yeah, I don't I know am. who the fuck you think you are. You're getting in Just my Just because you got this, don't be fucking shit. Get the fuck away from me. You're under arrest, okay? The fuck I am. Yeah, you are. Clear this on my end. Have a... Yeah, Get the fuck up off me. Get your under arrest. Why is there some five control? I got a combatant subject. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. Get out of your stomach. Off. Get on your stomach now. Soon, more officers arrived on the scene to assist with the arrest. Fight with my partner here? F you. You! You ready to get up? Be no, I can't. Up. My whole body's numb. I suffer from fing carpal tunnel. Guess what? Pick the wrong guy to mess with. What the, you wanna go to the ground? Quit their shit right now! Do not f with us! Blow me, bitch! Yeah, I got a grenade! Ah! Stop! Blow me. Relax. Relax. You calm? Take a seat. You just did. The suspect was charged with assault, criminal mischief, obstruction of governmental institution, resisting arrest, and harassment. On June 27, 2022, Chambly police officers responded to a 911 call at a bank in Atlanta, Georgia, to reports indicating a female individual attempting to cash a fraudulent check and allegedly assaulting a bank employee during the process. What's going on? He's he talking, he talking about, I touched him, talking about my check is fraudulent and all that stuff like that. My check is not fraudulent. I ain't touch him. Hold on, don't Come on, talk. mama, let's go. No, 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 no. Stay, stay right here now. Tell me what, tell me what happened. Hi, I'm the, my name is Sarah, I'm the branch manager here. Okay. Um, basically what happened, the check we confirmed it's not a good check. Okay. We had to retain the check, she came in How, yelling. how is the check a bad stop, check? Stop, stop, she stop. She came in yelling and screaming. My uh, FSS, your financial service specialist, tried to de-escalate the situation and let her know what's happening. She grabbed him. I did not, I did we not have, grab him. We, we have it on video camera and everything. Okay. I did not grab him, sir. I did we not. We have video footage. Right, well, right now you're being detained. Turn around, turn, put your hands behind your back. Hey, this is a bunch of lies. Like, oh, it's okay. I'm going to investigate it. But this for, is a bunch of but, lies. For, right I now. Like I got HIV and all that stuff like that. Like, I'm, I'm really, like, for real. I'm going to investigate. And if... But right now you are being detained. So you're thinking I've got one detained. What is that? Hold on, let me let me see that. This I need to see. I'll need the I'll need the ID also. The officers detained the suspect who continued claiming that they were innocent. Then the suspect's mother provided the officers with initial information about her daughter. First of all, tell me what happened. What happened? All I know, he was working at a place in South Carolina. So when he come home, I picked him up at the bus station. He come to cash the check. And he gonna do some work while he ain't gonna go back. When I got here, they were saying, he waited so long, they were saying that this check was a scam. Mm -hmm. So he went on the inside to see what was going on. And he told them that the check was a scam. And then he grabbed one of the workers. Who grabbed one of the workers? Whatever, it's, it's my son was born as a he, but I can't get, I'm confused with, he want to be a trans, trans man, you know how that is. Okay. So he, and what he got on here, Bria grabbed the one, that guy, the workers in there. Okay. And try to make him get his check back, and he told me he can't release the check because it was fraud. Now I'm trying to find out 
this company that he's supposed to be working for. And and I'm gonna call and see what's going on. Okay. The officer then proceeded to talk to one of the bank employees who was also involved in the altercation. No, my manager's one handling the transaction because I'm in training. Once you let her know in the drive, do that. It's just support fraud. She's gonna retain it because that's part of policy. Um, she in turn said that she was going to come in. That's why the car's parked like that. I was going to come, I came here to lock this door. Mm -hmm. I was going to go lock that up. She had already made it in. She okay. came in to exchange words with my manager, saying, you know, hey, give me my check, give me my check, just being irate. And then, you know, as I'm standing here, um, and I was like, man, well, unfortunately, you know, my manager did her work on it. You can't get back your check. Um, that's when she in turn walks up on me and wants to, you know, grab my Grabbed you by the tie? Yeah, she grabbed my tie. That's why I had to take it off. Because she held okay. on to it for a while. So she grabbed it, but I had, to, I had to let her know. Please let, let her go. I had to, like, de-escalate. Okay. This situation. Yes. Okay, let me, uh, y'all said y'all have it on video? He has some video. Yeah, I um, sent it, it to her. I mean, to uh, Ed Rock and those three videos. Okay. You got the video? Yes. That, that's some of those because I was going to nurse. I don't know if I was taking photos with me. So, um, yeah, she, 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 she grabbed him. Then. Um, just fill him out. I'm about to wait for her. She, um. What's that? Right. No, no, no. <laughs> she grabbed him by the tie okay. and then kept trying to swing on him. The officers confirmed the allegations and soon proceeded to inform the suspect of their charges and arrest. I'll let her talk to you in a second. All right, so you go by Bria, not Brett, right? Correct. Okay. Everybody knows me. When you type my social security number in the system, it pop, it pops up real. Everybody knows me. Okay. All right, this is what's happening. All right. We have it on video that you grabbed him by the tie and tried to swing on him. I did not swing him. I did not swing him. Okay, either way, you grabbed him by the tie. All right. I didn't try to swing That's, that simple battery. All right, you, um, you attempted a cash a fraudulent check that, that was sir, in I excess of fifteen hundred dollars. That's four trains. Sir, three. I, I work for that. Okay, it's 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 a confirmed fraudulent check. I work for that. Right, I'm just letting you know what's going on. Can you let my mom speak with me? Like you can't let them do this to me. Like I work for that. I work for that. The suspect then talks to their mother, asking for some help. Why did they let them do this to me? I, I have anything to do with that, I told you to turn that man loose. Can you can they please help me? Like I didn't there's thing on fraudulent and stuff and I work for that. We're not check, charging mama. we're not charging her with that yet. I have a job. The only thing I we're charging her right that. now is the simple battery on the employee. Simple battery on the employee. I didn't hit him. That's a misdemeanor. I did not hit him. You grabbed his tie print. You greased at him, but we were holding you. They had it on camera now, baby. Mama, please don't let them do this to me. Like, what do I need to do? Ain't nothing I can do, baby. I just had to come over there and see. Are you gonna come and get me? In fact, he says in DeKalb. Yeah, you go to DeKalb County once uh once the booking process is completed, the judge will set a bond, and um, you'll be able to get you'll be able to get her from there. My check is not fraudulent. Can y'all just give her the money? Like, my check is not That's fraudulent. not what we're charging you with right now. I told you our detective's going to investigate that further, just see what the what the mix-up was with that. It might even just be something to do with your name, since you're, since you're... They don't have anything to do with it. I've never had this problem before. Everybody knows me. Okay, Everybody hold on, knows hold on. Me. Driver's license says Brent. Everybody knows I go by I don't Brent. know you. You do know me. I, I Everybody know, know me. Y'all know my whole family. I don't know anything about you. I've never met you oh before. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so that's what's happening with this. Uh, we're, we're still investigating that for, that further. Just just see what the, that issue with what that is. Um, so I'm not going to... There's not oh, much where I is want. The, where is the uh, jail located? It's uh, the Cab County Jail. Um, How can you get my address? Sure. Memorial Drive. Yes. Like, this don't make any sense. Like, you got a call or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They just should have just cashed the check and gave me my money. I'm not fraudulent. I don't know where they come up with fraud. It's, look, we're not charging you with fraud, right? I'm going to look into it. But we're charging you with the battery because 
you attacked that man. Okay? I did not hit him. They got they got video showing that you did. I didn't hit him. Right. I grabbed his tire, but I did not hit you, him. Even grabbing his tire is a battery. I'll own up to that. Right. I'll own up to that. The suspect finally confessed that they assaulted the bank employee. Soon they started making delirious statements. I don't have no HIV. I don't have nothing. I don't have no HIV. No one said anything. Nobody said anything about that. I don't have anything. I don't have no AIDS, no HIV, none of that. Nobody said anything about that. And that's that's why they're taking me through all this, because I got away, because that was the initial plan. The initial plan was for them to keep injecting me with rat poison, and I was supposed to be gone. That was the initial plan. And play it, play it like it was HIV. That was the initial plan, and that's not... That's not, it didn't happen like that. So they're mad at me because I got away. The suspect still had a few things to say about the conspiracies that surrounded them. Why did they start this process saying that I was, it was fraudulent when I worked for that? They, they got it because they got to protect their money too. People do do fraud them. People do intentionally bring up bad checks. You know. But it's not me. I mean, they, out of all the people, they, like, they, you guys watch me every day. Right? You guys watch me every okay, me, day. Me, That's what, no, I'm saying. I don't, the I don't world watch. watch me every day. Okay. They know what I do. I don't they know, what know you, I go to work every I day. don't know what you do. They don't know what you do. Some people, everybody none knows of us, me. None of us. Everybody knows me. I'm, I don't know you. <laughs> Sir. I don't on. know you. I'm, this is our first time meeting Cut each other. Chase. Come on. Keep I don't real. know. I don't know you. I'm you keeping gotta it very keep it real. real with me. Come on. I'm keeping it very real. I don't everybody, know you. Everybody knows me around the world. I don't they know you. They watch me every day. Okay, I don't watch you. I'm, I'm, and I don't know you. This is the first time I, I meet you. I have a whole TV show. Like okay. seriously. I've never watched it. I'm sorry, but I've never Stop. watched it. Stop. Stop. I've, I've never watched it. Right. I've never seen you in any of the TV shows that I watch. Just, just. Um, how do I get rid of the wife? Do I just need to get a lawsuit or something like? Because it's, it's all because I'm like, he's mad because I want to be with him, and because I won't say because I won't say that I have AIDS or HIV, and I don't want to be with him. Like, okay. why would I? Why? And this is why he keeps harassing me. What do? What do? What would you do? Who keeps harassing me? Dwight. Who's that? Like the guy, this guy that wants me to be with him. He keeps harassing me okay. because I don't want to be with him. What would you do? The suspect was charged with forgery in the third degree and simple battery provoked before being transported to the DeKalb County Jail. The suspect maintained their innocence all the way through the end, much like this next transgender employee who assaulted one of their fellow employees because they accused them of theft. Officers were dispatched to a Popeye's restaurant in response to numerous 911 calls, alleging that a man dressed as a woman was assaulting the staff. Well, first and foremost, the fight because she grabbed me. All I did was hold it down. Ain't no man against no woman. I got a surgery. Let's clear that up first. The dirt that she works under a fake name here. Y'all accuse me when I work telling the fifteen hundred dollars. Nah, no. Nah. So what? But she called the police yesterday. What we're trying to figure out? What's I happening? came out here to confront my sister because y'all telling me somebody gonna do something in my house. I already know how hard she played. This girl cut ties, bust windows. If you run it, her name will come back to Willie Drive. I'm tired of being in the middle. When this girl came back to work here, she used my manager code. She didn't have one. Y'all gonna tell me I what took fifteen hundred dollars? What, what manager code you? Like you, a, I'm a registered manager here. Okay. So when she came here to work on a fake name, mm -hmm. I didn't know she could work on a fake name. Mm -hmm. But you worked here, so I'm the only one with a legal code. Not even my sister had a code to log in the computer. Okay. Y'all gonna tell me I got fifteen hundred dollars short on deletes? Man, I came from being a general manager that had to have a surgery because I don't bust my ass ninety days. But this girl got people working up here under fake names. You're paying people that don't even work here. The suspect claimed that he had recently had surgery, so he physically could not assault the other employee. My brother came in here and he put his hand on her face and she defended herself and they started fighting. He don't want to chill. He don't broke out property. I'm his sister. I'm trying to get him. Is he related to her? I'm tired. No. Huh? How do you know? How do he you... need to go to jail. He hey, needs to go to hey, jail. We got to calm down. I'm sorry, so we gotta... He hit my hand, sir. We gotta oh. figure out what's going on, okay? He hit me and threw me on the table. You see my eye? Oh, he's right. Do you need an ambulance? I'm the GM no. here. I want to trespass some more and put against okay. him so he can't come back We can do with all me. that, but we gotta figure out what's going on first, okay? okay. He came up so. here to fight her for no reason. Okay. Where was she at when this happened? Where were you sitting at? He came, he came up in here, right but he had already texted saying he was on his way to her to fight her. 
For he what? Okay. Why is he mad at you? They've been. It's a. It's a it's argument or whatever. Whatever he got in his head. Uh, boyfriend, or whatever. girlfriend. Oh no! Oh, I don't He's want a girl. Uh, I gotta ask. He don't want her. Okay. He don't want her. So why? How are they texting each other? How do they know each other? We call her. That's her brother. What happened? Tell them what happened. I'm asking you. Oh well. She called me and said he coming to fight me. I was here at work. He, he called away. you? Yeah, he he called. Drank, came away from Daytona. Okay. They called you wanting to fight her. For what? He. I he. don't know. I don't, I don't know. What all, they, what all did he say to you that you can remember? What I text him told he was coming up there. The employees claimed that the suspect had come over with the intention to fight. Is this the first video? Yeah. Okay. okay, it's three video. It's when he first came in here. Hold on. That's when he first came out. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna see. You gotta move. see how he first came in here. Mm -hmm. Why is. That's. She's a who? The one, the one right there? That. Oh, that one out there. Which one? The one with the pink. They're both off. Okay. Okay. No, we're not arguing. We come on at 4 o'clock. We're supposed to come on now, but he came in here and started it. So then, hold on. Go. So here go. You see? You see? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. See, he went to hit me. So when he hit me, when he hit me, you see? When he hit me, that's when. Uh, when he uh, when he was doing that, did his finger touch your nose or? It went up. Oh, he that's, caught that's me. That's when he caught your yeah, arm. Yeah, he, he caught his nail in me. Let me three point one more time. Look, so then. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see because yeah, like, it's like you hit first. You might have a hold it. But look, but you gotta watch kind of close, like. He hit in the eye. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I yeah. Got, yeah. I got, and I got, she defended herself. I got you, and that's fine. Okay, I just got you on the video. You gotta look at. He's sending out threats, sir. On the video, you gotta look at. You gotta look at. And then you see Whose phone is this? Yours? You were recording? Yeah. Would you mind doing a witness statement of everything yeah. you saw? Okay. The videos painted a much clearer picture of the incident. An officer shared the information collected from the employees. The officers then issued the suspect a trespassing warning before making the inevitable arrest. First things first, this right here is a trespass <laughs> warning for Popeyes. Okay? Being issued to you by the general manager of the store. This explains it right here. This means you can no longer come. You can, let me explain it to you, okay? And then you're going to roll your eyes at me. No, I don't roll eyes. Okay. This is a trespass warning. You are no longer allowed on this establishment. If you come on this property at all, parking lot, anything, you will be arrested and taken to jail. You understand? Okay. So go ahead and set that inside your car. Do you understand the trespass warning? I'll explain it to you. Is you are going to jail for battery. Battery? Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and drop your phone. Oh. Drop your phone right there. What? Is that a felony? No, it's so a misdemeanor. It's a misdemeanor. Okay. I'm not being rough. Battery? Yes. Oh, man, come on, man. My whole... You're going to jail for battery. See, battery? Let me let me explain all your charges to you, okay? Because you got more. What? Okay. Oh my You're going God. to jail for battery, criminal mischief, and disorderly conduct inside of a restaurant. My bond, that's not right. Let me ask you a question. You want to take the watch with you? I'll leave all that I want stuff my here. personal in my wallet. Oh okay. my God. All I did was push my hand and put finger jabs. Her and she attacked me. Oh, right, you finger jabbed her, but you came no, up here from Daytona. No. To fight her is what y'all just trying to tell me. Looking no. for an altercation. I can't okay. Let me my sit you in my car that way. You just God, you get some what hope do y'all have that I came here to fight this girl? Come on, man. No phone, I ain't said no such thing. Come on, man. No. No. Okay. I always give people the honest. Man. That's all I'm saying. I don't say like that. I can't believe it. The suspect was charged with battery, criminal mischief, disorderly conduct inside a restaurant, and grand theft. They were sentenced to probation and subsequently arrested three months later for a similar offense. YouTube thinks you'll love the video on screen. Click to watch now.